everyone welcome back to course on business intelligence and analytics with excel today we'll be starting with what excel is used for if you remember yesterday we started with first excel workbook where we did a sales projection table exercise so let's start what excel is used for generally when we talk about excel we understand the spreadsheet that we look into it it is used for numeric and non numeric uses both some of them which includes crunching numbers which means we can create budgets tabulate expenses analyze surveys perform marketing analytics reports financial analytics reports we can create charts we can use highly customizable charts then we can organize data suppose we have how many sales done per day what are the various things coming up any record any data we want to maintain we can make in organizing data sections then we can have manipulate text like we have to do some operations on text we can do that we can import data from other sources we can access and import data we can have graphical dashboards to look at the bird eye view of entire company we can have graphics we can have diagrams and we can have automated complete task like making macros to schedule the same thing again and again to repeat the things we can do so these are very basic things which we can done in excel that excel is a beyond what we can think of generally we do 10 to 15% of work in excel what we know about it but this will give you an idea see that there are few things which can be done we need to understand now workbook and worksheets when we talk about workbook it is a workbook which has many worksheets let me tell you exactly look like this is a book 1 if you can see this is a entire workbook and in this this is sheet 1 which is called worksheet then we have sheet 2 this is called another worksheet so we can worksheets and then in chart in uh, sheets we can have something like when we make a chart chart is a layer which holds above the worksheet yes uh, when we made the last time the chart it was above the worksheet then we have cells so in sheet there are cells this is a cell right now i am in e1 then in e2 so these are called cells now we need to understand the terminology is used in excel because when we will be taking the class further on i'll be saying say ribbon so you should know what ribbon is what is task pane is so various there are various elements we need to understand so let's start what are the various elements we can think of so in this section we'll just move on around the various options hmm. so like look first of all you need to understand that this entire portion where it is file home insert draw these are called a ribbon and this is a button which is called collapse the ribbon which comes with shortcut control plus f1 so if you click it out this it goes like this so now again if you say control plus f1 this will come back so this is a very important ribbon section it gives you a option to look at the bigger picture of the screen if the screen because ribbon takes some of the portion of the screen so you can always do control plus f1 remember the shortcut shortcut is control plus f1 okay now when we talk about the columns how many columns do we have in excel 2019 on the latest versions like it is con column letter starts with a then another column is b c d e f g okay let's say we going to z1 one and so now we have z now what will come after z a a a b a c so let's go to a z a z one so now we have a z then we have b a so it starts again like this and when you talk about this which is the last one it is x f d so there are 16384 columns in the excel how many 16384 columns 
बेटा डू नॉट डिस्टर्ब मी आई एम टेकिंग द क्लास ना चलो बाहर जा गो इन साइड गुड गर्ल लेट्स सॉरी फॉर डिस्टर्बिंग माई डॉटर केम इन बिटवीन सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद अगेन सो लेट्स मूव ऑन वॉट इज दिस कॉल फाइल बटन अच्छा वेन वी टॉक अबाउट कॉलम्स लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी रोज वी हैव You can see it is one zero four eight five seven six rows. One zero four eight five seven six rows. Achha. Now we talk about first of all. You should understand this is called the file button. When we click on this file button, we have so many options. This is also called the backstage button. We have new, open, info, save, save as, print, share, export, publish, close, account, many things. Either coming back, we can have to click escape. ESC escape key or we can move this with back arrow key also Achha. now let's understand what is formula bar this is called a formula bar when i write something say 23 you see in the formula bar or if i write say something like is equals to a1 plus b1 when we talk about this is called the formula bar fine enter escape c hope you got what is formula bar this is called the formula bar now moving next we need to understand horizontal scroll bar scroll bars this is called the scroll bars by which we can move into different things horizontal scroll bars can you see this arrow this is called horizontal scroll bars macro record indicator okay if you go into the sheet one next is we'll see now name box this is called name box when it is written n6 when our cell is in n6 we can always name name the cells when we name the cells the name is shown over here new sheet button this plus button this is called a new sheet button so when you click it out it gives you a new sheet we have page view buttons like this is page layout this is normal view then this is page layout and this is page break preview so these are called page view buttons we'll study them soon another term is called quick access toolbar this is called a quick access toolbar there is an arrow you click it out and this is called quick access toolbar so it is available in all every time for you so you can customize it also we will see how we can how can we do it hmm. now as we talked about this is a ribbon there is a button this is called ribbon display option it tells you auto hide ribbon hide the ribbon tap at the top of the application to show it so if you click it out the ribbon will get hide like this and you click it out again like this it will show it there is another option show tabs it will show only tabs nothing else and third is show tabs and commands this is like this hmm. when we talked about column numbers row numbers then we need to understand this is called a selected cell indicator this is a re rectangular block you can see it says that this is the indicator okay and if i select multiple cells you see the lighter one is d5 is the active cell and these are the entire cell been selected same way we have vertical scroll bar to scroll bar in a vertical direction now we have tab list 
let us see about tabs, what are the various, these are called tabs, home, insert, draw, page layout, formula, data, these are called tabs. Then you also have a contextual tabs, which means suppose when we design a chart, 45, 67, 98 suppose, and we say A, B. If I insert a chart, insert a complete chart, a chart. Okay. So when you do chart, there is another tabs coming up with chart style. This is called a contextual tab. So these tab changes based on the object we select. So right now we have a chart selected. So this is the thing. If you can, uh, click on another cell this will go. If you click it again, this will come up. So, this is called the contextual tabs. Hmm. This is called title bar, it is written in book 1 excel, this is called a title bar, you have auto save button. Hmm. This is called the zoom control button, this is 100 percent right now, you can do plus 110 percent, you can do small like 10 percent, again you can, so it you can scroll based on your things like I go to 100 percent, 100 percent. So, this was something that we talked about, but when we let us see once again, in home tabs, you have clipboard, font, these are called formatting styles like font, alignment and numbers, this is the formatting style, then you have various styles, cells, editing and ideas. Hmm. Then you have insert, this is generally for inserting some objects in the excel like pivot table, table, then you have recommended charts, lines, links, so insert is for inserting the commands, we will go everything one by one in the next classes, you have a draw button for drawing lines and all these things, this page layout is for how your website should look like, how should your uh, excel should look like sorry. Formula bar, it has various formulas, then you have function libraries, defined names, formula auditing tools, so you can audit formulas whether they are working fine or not, calculation tools like this. In data, you have data analysis tools which is like get and transform data, extract data from various sources, import data, various queries, this is called a power query section these days, data types filter, text to column, data tools like this. So, we will study these in detail in coming chapters, fine. Let us now let us move around our worksheets. Now, let us understand how we can move around worksheets. There are various things we should know. First of all, up down, up arrow and down arrow. So, down arrow is equivalent to enter key, let us see. So, when you press up arrow, it goes up, down arrow, it goes down and when you press enter, it again goes down. So, like this, it moves. Same way, you have left arrow. When you go to click left arrow, you will move like this, right arrow, ok. Same way as we have enter for moving downwards, we have tab, tab key, we have to press tab key like this. So, we will go into right, let me let. So, tab key is for right and if you want to move back, we have to press shift plus tab, shift plus tab, fine. So, what I was telling is left arrow, shift plus tab, right arrow, tab. Now, we have page up, page down, alt page up, alt page down, there are two important things. So, what is like page up and page down what we will do is, let us see, it will move you down one screen, the one viewable screen. Suppose, look, we are right now on A2 and I do page down, so I just move to 21. If I again do page up, it will go like this. Now, this was the moving in the vertical direction. Now, if you want to move in a horizontal say left or right, you have to press 
alt and page down it will take you to right direction if we say alt page up it will take you back so this is where we can move into the screens we said page up page down for upward and bottom directions and page up alt page up alt page down for downward directions okay now this is a very important thing which was scroll lock and control backspace key what actually it does is if you have a huge data and you want to see some other part of the section but you don't want that your active cell should get disturbed what you do is you press scroll lock on the key what you do scroll lock on the key so that active cell remains active you can move into another sheet another view and then you can come back let's try to do it for you i'll try to show you with the help of on screen keyboard let's start on screen keyboard for you look suppose this is the active cell i want so this is b12 you can see b12 fine now i do a scroll lock so i press the scroll lock and look you can see scroll lock written in error that scroll lock is in pressed so now what i'll do is i can move to any part of the cell acha if you want to come back press control and backspace you will be back into this picture see this like this i made it active now i can go anywhere in the direction of the cell we can move upstairs downstairs fine and now we press when i press control and backspace hmm. control and backspace so i am coming to the picture back fine so you have to remember that to clear this scroll lock key again let's do it off by clicking it so like this scroll key works on hope you got it coming back to the our presentation so what i said is up arrow down arrow left arrow which is equivalent to shift plus tab right arrow is tab page up page down alt page up alt page down scroll lock and control backspace so this is the way we can move around the excel hope you understand this lecture and now in coming future in the coming lectures we will be starting with formulas also we have to do copy formatting and various other basic things also but what i'm thinking is let's have some formulas working with spreadsheet modeling and side by side we'll learn one or two things of how formatting is done how to copy paste various other editing options are done so we'll have coming up lectures hope you are enjoying our lectures and uh, i look forward to be with us for the next coming up courses entire course i'm sure you will love this journey happy learning thank you